Welcome into Duval Daily, presented by GenJag.com. I'm Jordan DeLugo. Thank you so much for tuning in here on Saturday, September 23rd. Today, Jaguars versus Texans. Bold predictions. Jaguars are hosting the Texans tomorrow at the bank, Everbank Stadium. The Texans have won five straight games against the Jaguars on the road. I think the Jaguars are going to end that this weekend. We'll get into the bold predictions right now. If you enjoy the content, please like, subscribe, hit that notification bell. You can also check out GenJag.com slash shop. Pick up some new Duval gear. Really appreciate y'all's support. So, I think this is going to be a big day for the Jaguars on the offensive side of the ball. The Texans, I think D'Amico Ryans has them moving in the right direction. I think he's a great defensive coach, but does not have all the pieces he needs right now. And they are out four defensive starters in this one. A lot of guys from the secondary are going to be missing. Their best linebacker, Denzel Perryman, also going to be missing. And the fact that you have to say Denzel Perryman is your best linebacker, probably not the best thing in the world at this stage in his career. But... Again, I think this is going to be a really big offensive day for the Jaguars. The Texans' defense is not good against the pass right now. It's not good against good against the run, excuse me, and they're they're very injured, quite frankly. So I think Trevor Lawrence, looking at the quarterback for the Jaguars, hasn't had the biggest numbers so far this year, although I think his play overall has been pretty damn good through the first two weeks. Trevor Lawrence, 300 yards and three touchdowns in this one. I think that he's going to get the job done in a big way. The Jaguars know they need to get their passing offense rolling a little bit here in week three, and I think they're going to be able to do exactly that with Derek Stingley out with Jalen Petrie out and and all the attrition that they've had on that side of the ball. I think Travis Etienne is also going to be able to have a good one. The Texans defense struggles to stop the run. Travis Etienne also needs to get it going. I think this is a get right week for the Jaguars. You saw it late in the season last year when these two teams got together. Not the same exact teams, right? But uh, similar for the Houston Texans and the Jacksonville Jaguars. And I think that Travis Etienne, he's going to have 125 plus total yards and a score in this one, I think he'll get the job done on the ground and through the air for the Jaguars in week three. Calvin Ridley, I think he's going to have his second 100-yard game as a Jaguar. Uh, he's due for a big one, right? Last week was not his best outing. He had some very, very close calls um, at the back of the end zone, and he also had a couple drops, quite frankly. So I think Calvin Ridley is going to want to have a big one. And again, the Texans, they are without Derek Stingley. So you're probably looking at Shaquille Griffin or Steven Nelson trying to uh, go head-to-head with Calvin Ridley. And the the Texans will run a lot of zone coverage, but I don't think it's going to matter against this Jaguars passing attack in Week 3, quite frankly. Uh, I think that C.J. Stroud is going to have a decent game on paper as well. I think he's going to play well in the second half. I think he's going to have 250-plus yards and two touchdowns. Uh, To me, this this kind of stems from, I think that the Jaguars are going to jump out on the Texans a little bit in this one. I think that the Texans are going to have to throw kind of like they did last week against the Indianapolis Colts with a with a big deficit on the scoreboard early. I think it's going to be a similar situation in that C.J. Stroud, he will put up some numbers, but it's going to be when it doesn't matter all that much. And uh, I don't think the Texans, Texans are going to end up scoring big in this one, but I do think that he's going to move the ball a little bit for them, especially in the second half. Uh, that lead, leads me to my next prediction, though. I think Andre Sisco has his second interception of the season. He got one last week, predicted that one, by the way. And I think he's going to get another one this week. C.J. Stroud has not thrown an interception so far in his rookie year. I think he's due for it in a big way. The Jaguars are a turnover-heavy defensive unit. I think Andre Sisco gets his hands on the football this week. I also think Devin Lloyd will get his hands on the football. I think that C.J. Stroud will throw his first and second interceptions of his NFL career here in week three against the Jacksonville Jaguars. I've got Devin Lloyd with an interception and 10 plus tackles. I think he's going to have a really big week. I think he has kind of been building uh, so far this season and having some pretty good outings. Obviously wasn't his best outing um, in week two. There were a couple big misses by him. But if you just look at the down-to-down consistency overall, it was a lot better against the Chiefs in week two than it was at the end of the season last year. So I think Devin Lloyd's definitely moving in the right direction. He had a really good game against the Colts as well. I also have Trayvon Walker with his first multi-sack game. I think he's going to have at least a sack and a half for the Jaguars. Um, This is a guy that has flashed during the first two weeks. Uh, He's gone against a little bit better competition than I think what he's going to potentially face in week three with the Texans' very injured offensive line. They've had a lot of attrition there. Three of their starters will not be available for this one. 
So I think Trayvon Walker and Josh Allen, if he's at 100%, are going to have really good games. But I have Trayvon having his first multi-sack game of his career. The Texans have allowed 11 sacks in two games. I've also got my final score prediction here for y'all. I think the Jaguars are going to win this one going away. I think it's going to be a 31-17 to victory for the Jacksonville Jaguars at home in front of a good home crowd. I think that they need this one. They, they need to come out and have a three-phase win. I talked about it yesterday. They need to have all three phases play in sync and feel a lot better going on a two-game London trip. They're going to play against the Falcons and the Bills, right? So I think you want to feel a lot better than you do um, right now heading out to London. So we'll see how it plays out, but I've got the Jaguars winning big things. It's a good day for them, but I think it's also a good day on paper for CJ Stroud, a good day of development for him. And I do think the Texans are moving in the right direction. They could potentially be a difficult team to, uh, to take care of and beat in, in 2024. But I think for right now, the Jaguars still will have their number. Y'all have a good one.